What's going on guys? Today on Spartan 137 Gaming we're going to be playing Chapter 2 or Level 2 of Halo Combat Evolved called Halo. Um, we are still doing this on easy mode, just going to be a quick run through on easy with some tips and tricks that I use for my legendary runs. Um, I am going to try to do my best to keep as many cuts out of this as possible, but I am conducting some business on the side today with emails, texts, as well as phone calls. So I'm, I am going to be pausing uh, the game a lot, so you will have some cuts in there um, as I come back um, and uh, need to edit some of that stuff out. But we're just going to go ahead and get this video started for you guys today. Yes, we know about the safe progress. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys when we come back to the video. Alrighty, so uh, this is a fairly straightforward level. It is um, kind of open world in that it's very large. Uh, this is actually one of the easiest levels to get the part time on. I believe the part time is about 20 minutes. I've done it multiple times. Uh, don't think I'll do it in this run just because uh, the part time on this is a lot easier with a certain setup of weapons. I'm going to try to use my usual setup of weapons for my legendary runs. Um, two bits here is there is a skull we're just gonna waste some time here one reason why I'm not gonna hit the part times is there is a skull over here behind this big ass boulder by the waterfall uh, I missed the run buttons in okay so you're gonna come up behind this rock and you'll see the skull on the ground just walk over it there we go so that's the first skull in this level. There's actually a second one, um, and it's um, you get it after the first drop pod uh, or the first uh, set of marines that you need to protect. Um, you get it after that, and you get the warthog. Um, that's about the best time to, to try and go and get that. Let's see here. I missed that jump Covenant a couple times and inbound. I'm not going to risk it. They must be looking for survivors. I recommend immediate evasion. Okay, so usually for my weapon setup, um, on the, uh, of course I get hung up. Uh, for my weapon setup, um, on especially legendary, is one, um, the pistol until you can get a um, sniper rifle. And then other than that, you're going to want to trade out your assault rifle for the needler. Um, the needler works especially well against the elites that do show up here. Um, and uh, the sniper, I'm more of a long range player. Let's hope we don't get all shot up by this guy. There will be uh, an elite and some runs up there. So just take them out. Boom, headshot. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, fuck you, dude. Alright, so you're just going to want to clear these guys out as quick as possible. Like I said, to start off, um, get rid of the assault rifle and change it in for a needler just to help out with the uh, elites that are going to be showing up. The needler cuts through their shields really quickly. Other than that, uh, hold on to the um, pistol until you can get a sniper, um, which will be after we get the uh, first drop pods taken care of. Throw a grenade in there. Oh, I think I didn't get them all. So until I do pick up a needler, I'm just going to use my assault rifle to pull these guys down. So I will say one thing, one reason why I do highly recommend the needler, aside from it being able to kill elites, um, is it does have the tracking. If I can fucking find one. I keep forgetting the weapon thingy is up in the upper left hand corner there we go Whoop. no 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 get that back there we go this is what we want right here yeah I'm definitely not gonna meet the part time so in my experience uh, after you clear out that first one come over here run underneath this little bridge part you're going to come over this way by that first down pelican I like to toss a grenade 
usually clears up a lot of them fairly quickly if you can hit them right. Get that needler. Get the tracking for that elite. One downside to the needler, and if you're playing on legendary, this is not something you should have to worry about. Is this next one should be coming around over on this side. Um, one downside. No, I was wrong. Uh, downside to the needler is its melee range is shitty. Um, so if you are playing on legendary, um, but you have the skull activated for shields, uh, do not uh, try to use the needler. There it is. Do not try to use the needler for um, melee kills. Just because the range on it sucks here, I'll show you guys. Ugh, it's hard to hit him. The animation actually takes longer. It sounds kind of dumb, but I was actually testing it out um, with a stopwatch and a micro timer. Um, the needler animation, aside from like the rocket launcher and the sniper, has one of the shortest ranges for uh, melee, as well as one of the longest animation times, which really cuts into your um, like speed run times or par time runs. Throw a grenade over there. No, not far enough. But that's fine. Uh, I need to take this thing off my joystick. There's a. I could have swear there's a grunt somewhere. Okay, this guy. It's gonna come over here. So if you are doing a speed run, uh, this route is fairly easy to memorize. Uh, as far as uh, which order, ah, fucking trees. Which order these? Um, ships come down in. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to concentrate on video here. Um, fairly easy to memorize what ships land where and when. I will say if you are trying to do your hard times or your speed runs and you're trying to blow through this, um, careful how close you do get to the drop ships. Uh, uh, just because if you are too close, um, the drop ships will stay up in the air running your time down. So do be cautious of that. I'm going to bust out the feet. Alrighty, so that should have been the last dropship. Um, Roger, Echo 419. This is Fireteam Charlie. Here. Is that you, Fallhammer? Roger, Fireteam Charlie. Good right, so we're just going to hang out over here. Um, like I said, this next part is where we can get the other skull in this level. So we're just going to wait for Fallhammer to drop off our uh, Warthog and our Gunner, and uh, we can continue on from there. While you're waiting for this whole cutscene garbage to go on, uh, pick up some ammo, especially that needler if you are on Legendary. Uh, pick up that needler ammo, get some grenades. If you need uh, handgun ammo, um, or assault rifle ammo, right up there, uh, where the rectacle is, they do have a plethora of ammo just waiting for you guys. Right, so we have our gunner. Let's go, homie. Alright, so I found the easiest way to get to this skull is to jump on your warhog. Bring it all the way up over here to the side of this mountain. And kind of ride this side over to the right. Uh, try not to uh, go blaring too fast or anything. Don't get too close to the sides. You can hop down right here up against the tree. I have had the warhogs. Uh, roll off on me. It's just right here at the edge of the cliff thingy. There you go. Boom skull. Alright. Come on. There it is. Okay, so this is a general tip for warhogs. Um, if you are doing jumps of any kind, like especially on the last level where you're trying to escape the exploding halo, 
Um, a lot of people flip a lot. One thing you can do to avoid that is take your thumbstick and look up as high as you can. This, a lot of times, especially on the smaller jumps, will keep you from flipping over. Someone like so. It, so it must lead somewhere. So, oh, I was not looking up on that one. No, not side seat. Driver seat, there we go. Wait for this guy to show up. Especially on Legendary, he will help save your life while he is still alive. I've hacked into the so just gonna sling around these corners here. Actually broadcasting tactical data on unencrypted channels. We should show them who they're dealing with. Um, these videos will not have the terminals in them. I may do another terminal video. Uh, I may remake my terminal video. Um, if I still have the footage from it. I usually take this hole right here. Oh, I done screwed it up. So normally, if you take that right, you'll have enough momentum after that little bop to make it all the way past this little gap right here. Again, look up and you should pass it no problem. Do mad skid. So this part here, uh, I still use some of the speedrun tactics for this one. I uh, Definitely legendary, you will want to have your needler for this one. You're gonna take your warthog and kinda like park it. Oh. So let's hope that that's close enough. Leave your gunner there to kill some of the dudes. You're gonna wanna do like a little uh, crouch jump and I'm not close enough, so let's move that back here. So some people park it on the side. Yeah, there we go. Stop, 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 stop. Let, okay, you know what, let's just hope this is close enough. Wasting time here. So you're gonna wanna do a little crouch jump to make it here. Over there on the left on Legendary, there will be two elites. That's why you want grenades and the needler. Just unload them on these guys. Again on Legendary, uh, start off by tossing a couple grenades down there and then unloading with the needler until they are dead. Um, coming up on this side, it ensures that you're not locked into that little walkway over there or in this little tiny squinched uh, space over here. Um, so usually I do use the speedrun tactic to park the warthog there, do a crouch jump, crawl up the side, toss a grenade, unload the needler. From there, you just come over here, push the button as usual to activate the light bridge. Jump back on your warthog. We're just going to mosey on through these hallways over here. And hopefully I don't get lost because I know that there's a there's spot up here where you are supposed to turn left instead of right. A lot more but just the way they have it set up, it looks like you're supposed to turn. The captain really gave them hell. Okay, so here, don't be afraid to use your left trigger button if that's the default setting you have before. This is the one. Take a left here. Ah. Uh, don't be afraid to use that uh, slide button. Get some mad skits going here, especially if you are trying to do the uh, par times or speed runs. Um, it will take some practice, but don't be afraid to um, do some mad skits, get some slides out of it. Okay, so from here, um, I usually follow a pretty uh, prescribed route. I try not to deviate from it, just because it does save time, especially if you have the route memorized. Uh, but this first part is probably the most complicated of it. Oh, nope, I went too far. Okay, or not far enough. So you're going to wait till after these past two boulders. You're going to come up here and to the left. You're just going to waylay past these jackals. Come over here. Okay. Maybe they took cover in that structure. Let's so be careful not to drive yourself off the cliff. I usually just park this guy over here. Oh, come on. It doesn't really matter where. I usually like to give him a somewhat clear line of sight. So I'm not going to pick up the sniper yet. Oh, come on. Ooh, I suck. There it is. Okay. So when you park your um, warthog there. Oh, I moved. I'm going to come over here. Holy shit, what the hell? Uh, something's wrong with you guys. You're going to come over to this side around the left side of the... Ooh, hello. I did not expect to see you here. 
may actually end up actually having to re-record this because I'm having such a hard time. Not sure what the hell is going on. Go around the left side of the outside of the building. You'll see that little doorway. Come in the doorway. All you gotta do is just clear out all these enemies. There it is. Okay, and then these guys, uh, right now you're just basically trying to rescue the marines. Alright, so be careful when you're coming down here. Alrighty, so you take it right. So for those of you who don't know, there is an elite up there. Alrighty. So again, um, after you do um, get to the Marines, your, your basic goal here is to clear out all of the Covenant so that the Foam Hammer uh, can come in and pick them up without being shot down. So a majority of these enemies will be up here. And I'll go back this way. Oh look, there's another one. So again, uh, I am playing a little bit more aggressive than I usually do. Um, just because I'm trying to keep this video short. Um, I am not really using the weapons that I normally do for this. But once you clear out all the enemies, again, make sure you come up here to this area. I like to clear them out. Run back to your Vothog. Okay, and this will be the part where I'm going to trade in the um, pistol for the sniper. I'm going to backtrack a little bit for this one. So normally what I would do is I'd go through that exit right over there where my little um, blue chevron arrow thing is pointing. Um, just to backtrack a little bit, um, I'm going to go back and pick up the first sniper available in the game. Again, keep looking up so you don't tumble. Right, so you will find it. Uh, on this level, you'll find snipers at all the drop pods um, areas. So right here, we're going to look down here. We have a... Hey, who's there? Oh, hello. Oh, I haven't had this happen before. Hopefully they didn't land on top of the sniper. No, nope, give me back. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you have your assault rifle over there. You have your sniper rifle about right here. Fuck it. Where's he at? Die, fucker. Uh. Oh, hold on, guys. Sorry about that, guys. My brother just got home from work. He wants to say hi. Hi, everybody. Have fun. Okay, so, um, let's get back to it. What were we doing? Oh, yeah, picking up a sniper. Um, so we're just going to say stuff. Hopefully the Warhog did not get destroyed. Oh, goody. Here we are going to wait for the gunner. Ah, uh, let's get out of here. Okay, so this is the secondary um, entrance or the exit that I would normally take. I backtracked a little bit uh, to get the, uh, the sniper. And if I can just figure out where the hell I'm going. There we go. Okay, so right across the river. Gonna hang a slight left, go between these two little lamp beacon thingies. Use your skids. Okay, so on this particular level, again, um, I usually don't navigate through this middle part just because of how close everything is. Get some that skids at this is why I don't do it. Oh god, don't die. So you're gonna come up here. I usually park my guy up here 
Uh, so he has kind of a clear line of sight. And then I call in a drop ship to pick them up. For this sniper here. Oh, I never got the sniper. Motherfucker. Alright, so I usually let my dude take care of that. On legendary, I do hang out in the back. Boom, headshot. I usually hang out in the back, let him take care of most of the bad guys. Um, after that first wave of dudes are taken care of, we're going to swing around. Alright, and there will be a drop ship over there. Park right here, if he's paying attention. So again, on legendary, keep your distance, let your gunner do a lot of the work until he dies. Uh, my needler. Baby, come back. Alright, and then once all those guys are dead, there will be another drop. Is there another drop ship? May have to make sure everybody's all dead. Um, I believe there's only two dropships. There could be a third one. Don't quote me on it. It has been a long time since I played Combat Evolved. Oh, there it is. Okay, so once the call sign comes out, and she's like, we're coming in, you're going to jump back into your Warhog. And again, I usually go around the outside just because it's easier to navigate. I'm going to go up this little hill type thing to the right. And then from here... Uh, you're going to want to go to that little cave structure right there where my uh, blue arrow doohickey is. Oh, too steep. Too steep. Come on. Warning. There it is. I picked up reports that the Covenant has located and secured the Pillar of Autumn's trash tank. The good Again. news is the captain is still alive. The bad news is that the Covenant have captured the entire surviving skits. So there's another sniper Let's hurry in and this find area. So we can link up with the rest of the survivors. Again, by the survivors detected. Marines are concealed in those rocks. So I'm gonna let him do that. Then leave him parked right there. There's another sniper over by this drop pod. A lot of people like to hang out by the rocks because it does offer more cover. Um, along with cover comes. Uh, limited field of view, so I usually stay away from there, um, unless I'm mopping guys up. Earn that. Sniper there. Health if you need it. Now I usually just hang back over here while I'm waiting for the dropships to come. Um, if for some reason the dropships aren't triggering, it is because you have not killed all the guys laying around, so you may have to wander through the rocks area to clean them up to trigger the drop ships though you do need to come in to this rock formation and find the marines we could use your help sir and would say oh look he's here blah de blah well hey good looking sir, I've got a drop there it is all right so the covenant drop ship um Usually it's over to the right side of the map. It usually drops over there. And it does come in waves, so it'll drop over there, then over here. Oh, there it is. So to make this quicker, especially for the speedruns, you can uh, hop on your Warthog. Man, what is up with my... <gasps> How did I miss? You can always hop on your Warhog to reposition your gunner so that he can help mop it up. He does uh, a lot quicker of a job killing these guys than you can usually do by yourself. But I like shooting things with my sniper rifle. Oh, bad guys are coming. Alright, so take cover over by the trees. And I'm not too sure what's going on. I keep running into, like, invisible walls. Toss a grenade, hopefully he doesn't get caught up on a branch. No, 
no scope. I missed it. Oh, timer went off. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't you worry. Oh. Okay. Sorry about that. I have some food cooking. Uh, it is really hard to make videos when you have other stuff going on at the same time. Okay. And let's hope I didn't screw up the mic and ruin my audio levels. What were we doing? Oh, yeah. Snipering. So, again, very good to have a needler. Oh. Oh, come on. Ugh, this, this no-scope stuff is hard. Fuck you guys. Yeah, I got one. Right, so, there should be another dropship. Hanging some guys out. Pretty sure. There's the drop ship. <gasps> Let's see how far I can get that grenade. Aw, oh, really? Too far. Oh, love this sniper. Alright, so now we have to go in, mop up. He's oh, you fucker, how'd you get past me? Yeah, bitch. Worst thing about the Needler is if you are, for some reason, close on Legendary, the Needler explosion will kill you. And it really sucks. Got the sniper done, got the checkpoint done. Go. And this is why I usually leave this guy over here. He doesn't help out a lot of other enemies, but once this dropship comes in with all the jackals and the shields and these couple of elites. He is invaluable, no scope. That's the last of them. Roger, Woo, we are done. Now we just gotta wait for these guys to for Foe Hammer to show up. We just gotta jump into the uh back of the wagon. The truth and reconciliation. And this is pretty As much the end of the level. Um, the I know I did kind of ramble. There was some cuts in the this uh, level. Um, and I do apologize for that. A little bit of rambling. Um, if I don't like the way it turns out, I'll probably re-record it. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this get has aboard. been Halo Combat Evolved. Um, level Halo. So thank you guys very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And we'll see you next week's video. And then we'll need your help on a